video solution to a three mark question from the topic areas related to circles question number 29 so medium difficulty question following figure depicts a park where two opposite sides are parallel these two sides are parallel and the left and right ends are semicircular in shape it has a 7 meter wide track for walking so the width of this walking track is equal to 7 meters two friends seema and meena went to the park Mina said that the area of the track is 4066 meters square. The area of this walking track all around the park, she claims it to be 4066 meters square. Is she right? Explain. We need to compute the track, area of the track and find out whether our number matches with what she is claiming. Let's get started. We have two data points, 120 meters and 70 meters. What is this 120 meters? I'm going to divide this entire walking track into four parts. This part one is a straight line part. Part 2 is also a straight line park. So these two parts, the length of each of these parts is 120 meters. The width is the width of the track, which is equal to 7 meters. So let's divide this into four parts. Region 1, which is a rectangle of dimensions 120 by 7. Region 2, which is also a rectangle of dimension 120 by 7. So computing the area of these two parts is very, very straightforward. Let's understand what the 70 meters is before looking at computing the area for regions 3 and 4. There are two more regions and 3, the area of 3 and 4 will be the same, obviously. Look at it. I'm going to draw this line. I'm going to draw this straight line. The 70 meters is nothing but the distance between the outer edge of this walking track. So I'll call it as A and this as B. And let's keep, mark this midpoint as O. So AOB is going to be the outer diameter of this walking track that is equal to the 70 meters. So OA which is the outer radius is going to be equal to 35 meters. Now can we find out the inner radius of this walking track? This width is equal to 7 meters, the walking track width. Outer radius is 35, this track width is equal to 7 meters. So I'll mark this point as C. AC is 7 meters, AO is equal to 35 meters. So OC, which is equal to the radius of the inner radius of this track is going to be 35 minus 7, which is equal to 28 meters. Let's get both those data in a printed form. Outer diameter of the track is the distance between the outer ends of this parallel part, which is equal to 70 meters. So the outer diameter is 70 meters, outer radius capital R is equal to 35 meters. The length of the width of the track is 7 meters. Therefore, the inner radius is 35 minus the 7, which is equal to 28 meters. Now, as second step, let's compute the area of regions 3 and 4. Let's start with step 1, computing the area of this rectangular part. Length is equal to 120 meters. Width is equal to 7 meters. Two such rectangular portions. So, I'll call it as region 1, region 2. So, 1 plus 2, the area is going to be 2 times of 120 times 7. 120 into 7 is an 840 into 2, 1680 meter square is the area of this shaded region that we have got right now. So step 1 is over. Let's compute it in a printed form that works out to 1680 meter square. 1 and 2 done. So what is left is 3 and 4. Let's look at how to compute 3 and 4. I'll explain that here and then let's do the computation in the next one. Initially, I'm going to compute the area of this entire semicircle, right? This is marked in this shaded region with red. Let's change the color. Let's mark the other part in blue. From this, if I subtract the area of the inner semicircle, what is left is going to be the area of the semicircular walking track. This is what we're going to be doing in the next slide. Let's get started with that. So the inner part will subtract it from the outer part, which is what is a larger semicircle. So we'll initially find out the area of this larger semicircle. And from that, we'll subtract the area of the blue region. The larger semicircle, the area is going to be equal to pi by 2 into r square. The inner semicircle, the area is going to be equal to pi r square divided by 2. This is for region 3. This is region 3. Region 4 and region 3 have the same area. So 2 times this is going to give us the areas of the semicircular walking track. That's what I've said. 2 times area of the outer semicircular region, which is shaded in red, minus area of the inner semicircular region, which is shaded in blue. So the outer semicircular area is pi capital R square by 2. Inner one is pi small r square by 2. Take the pi by 2 common outside. These two get cancelled. So what we are left with as area of the walking track in regions 3 and 4 add up to pi times r square minus r square. So let's write it as 22 by 7 
into R plus R times R minus R. What is capital R? Capital R is a 35. Small r is equal to 28. Let's plug in both these values. 22 upon 7 into 35 plus 28 times 35 minus 28. 35 minus 28 is actually a 7. So the 7 gets cancelled with this number to leave us with an answer which is 22 times 63. 63 into 2 is 126. So 22 into 63 is 1260 plus 126 which is 1386 meter square. So the semicircular walking track on either side, left and right, together that area is equal to 1386 meter square. Quickly summarize it in a printed form. 35 square minus 28 square, we just did this calculation straight away here, which will work out of 441, gets cancelled to leave us with an answer, 1386 meter square. Rectangular region, we found the area to be 1680. Semicircular part, we computed it right now to be 1386. It adds up to a 6, 6. We have a 1 carryover, which will make it a 0. 3066 meter square is the area of the walking track. What did she claim? Meena claimed it to be 4066. She made a mistake. Meena, you are wrong. The correct answer is 3066. Before you leave, do two things. Sign up at online.maxitude.com for CBSE online coaching for class 10 maths. It takes less than 5 minutes in all of 3 steps to get started. And do one more thing. Subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash and spread the word about this channel to your friends and classmates.